At around about $13, we'll buy you a ticket on one of the great little railways of the world, the Lal Ratty, otherwise known as the Ravenglass and Estelle Railway in England. Ravenglass is a small holiday town on the west coast of England. It's a quiet sort of place that hasn't changed much over the years. And neither has its railway. Lal Ratty is one of the world's oldest and smallest public railways. to carry uh, minerals down from the valley down to the main line at Ravenglass. Uh, it survived closure two or three times and it's been regaged to its present 15 inches in uh, 1915. So it's got a, uh, a very checkered and varied history. Lal Ratty was a pioneer of the minimum 15 inch gauge and helped establish the charm of miniature railways. And when you see her at full steam in England's beautiful Lake District, you can see why. Identical ratties chug up and down this spectacular line that runs from sea level at Ravenglass to the bottom of England's largest mountain, Scarfell. Now on the way up the slope, these little engines are having to work really hard. They've got to pull up to 200 passengers up a 3% gradient. That's quite a slog for a full-size engine, but these engines are only one-third full-size. Even so, they're not toys. These incredible engines are more like antiques than working machines. They're over a hundred years old and are painstakingly maintained by a handful of engineers. We make all the spare parts ourselves. The only thing we don't do is um, if we have to have a new boiler, that has to be made outside. But otherwise everything's done in our own workshops at Ravenglass. There's something about steam that adds that extra something to a rail journey. But this fairly laboured process shows just why the days of steam were always going to be numbered. Imagine doing this with a full-sized engine every time you change direction. But what's so special about this train then? Uh, it's a bit of nostalgia really, isn't it? When you boil it all down. And I always remember when I was a kid I had pictures of it in books. I like lots and lots of carriages on them. <laughs> A one-way trip on Lal Ratty is about 40 minutes, so most people get a return ticket and make a day of it. And it really is worth a second look at some of this classic English countryside. Well, that's one of the most scenic train trips I've ever been on. A bit cheaper than the Orient Express, too. But a word of advice, if you don't want to get coal dust in your hair, don't sit too close to the engine. The Ravenglass and Estale Railway is in Cumbria, about five hours' drive northwest of London. 